Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for January 30th, 2022. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings, gumroad.com slash angelsouls for Archangel meditation challenges and lots of other content. The newest one up is Archangel Ariel, so get on over there and check it out. All right, let's see what we have for today. Just a lot about how we... Um, relate to one another. There's the card. Um, how we respond to one another, cleaning up the energy around something. All right. Perspective. Okay. So this is Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel is all about love. A lot of people associate this Archangel with love partners. We get Raphael in there too, because Raphael is all about soulmates. Uh, but Shamuel first and foremost will make sure you're in a solid place and that you love yourself. Shamuel can help you see the beauty in life, to help you fall in love with life, with what is, so that you can craft whatever the next thing is, whatever it is that you want to experience. So this is, there's a better way. Oh my gosh, we had that before. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Yeah, we are not seeing things clearly at all. This makes me almost wonder, like in a more worldwide sense, if things aren't going to really be opened up. That's not new. I mean, we've been having that little by little, but, um, this might, cause we, this whole week has been about, um, clearing up energy, seeing a different perspective, someone else's perspective. So maybe that's what's going on here. You, you see somebody else's perspective and you might <laughs> be completely turned upside down. Okay. You might be, you know, it might be one of those things where you've carried around the version of truth that you felt you had to be defensive to that, you know, no one's going to ever get me that way again. And then you realize you've been carrying around this burden for nothing. But I feel like other people might have the wrong idea about you as well. And it's weird how our brains will work. Like we will get the version of truth that we believe and see it as the truth. And that's it. Um, and maybe sometimes you're the only person in the room telling the truth, but nobody, <laughs> nobody wants to believe you. Nobody wants to hear you, but something comes along that really shakes up your perspective. Now, this does have, maybe it completes out a cycle for some of you, but this does have a feeling of clearing up an energy so that you can move on. If you've ever done a cord cutting or a clearing with Archangel Michael, when you're stuck around a situation, you often find that inspiration starts to come through. Now, where people say that cord cutting doesn't work, it's because they're in their, I'm going to be just very frank about this. They're in their superficial viewpoint about spirituality and they think that they don't have to do any work and they don't have to, you know, someone's just supposed to always come in and do all the dirty work for me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but this is that kind of feeling of whatever gets brought up for you, it's going to show what you need to work on, but it might be helping someone else see what they need to work on. And collectively, with your group or you in an organization or whatever, you might realize the patterns that need to shift, okay? And what you have been carrying, as I said, that has served nothing and has only dragged you down. So there's some freedom that is a potential around this. But again, this is not encouraging anybody. I'm going to get the comments. Oh, I have an abusive ex and I'm not going back. Who says you need to go back to an abusive ex? Nobody said that, okay? You are working on your patterns. So don't be running away from it. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.